Hello everyone, Mike Armstrong here, owner of uh, Strong Arm Sport. Just yesterday afternoon, we got in our new competition combo rack. We're gonna open one up here. We have not opened one yet, so it's gonna be just as much of a surprise to us as to you when you get one in your door. Okay, we got all the pieces unpacked, unwrapped. Uh, it's often uh, the, the longest part of the job is unwrapping everything. We got everything kind of separated out into uh, one piece per, per side. Now we're gonna start assembling it. Uh, one bit of advice I always say when you're building something like this is put the nuts in, put the nuts just finger tight but to begin with. Once you have all the pieces together, then go back and tighten everything up. You might be asking for trouble if you tighten everything too, too, too soon. First piece is the main the two main side pieces and the cross piece. We discovered that the uh, bolts that uh, comes with it, there's eight bolts that are very similar. The bolts that you need to use on this first frame piece are the ones that just say 4.8 on them. The other ones have a CD 4.8, I think it says on the bottom. You wanna use these ones. One advantage I learned from our previous combo rack of this type of connection system is that you can take them apart pretty easily the right and left side and then they become a lot smaller to store in your uh, in your vehicle trunk or so whatever something to take to a competition ER, ER racks are much larger now I'll have a look at the directions and find out what's next these are the uh, bolts that just say 4.8 they're a little bit smaller diameter than than the previous ones. The plates that are on here, they are different from front to back. So before you put them in place, you gotta make sure you got the right ones, that the holes will, uh, will line up correctly. The, uh, the, the wrench I have on the other end is uh, 17 mil, and the, uh, the socket is 19 mil on this end. We got the bench all bolted together. We're gonna bolt, uh, we're gonna tighten up these, uh, the main frame cross piece here. Uh, it's 24 on one end and 22 mils on the other. Okay, what's next? Drop the bench in place, it says, so we'll do that. Now it should be that the uprights go on next, but we need to get the attachments on it for modifying the in out. And it doesn't look like it matters which way around I go. It appears symmetrical. So I have to put this on here first. And then this goes, goes in. And we put bolts in the bottom. These bolts are PD 4.8. This should be for the pivot points at the bottom. The uh, pieces I'm working on here, these are for the in-out adjustment for the lifters who want to be able to put their hands outside the racks. We call that the in position. You just lift up this piece and tilt the rack in so that now the upright is on an angle so the person will be able to put their hands on the outside of the, the rack. To move it back in, you just do that and do that. And then it's on the normal straight upright position. So the hands will be on the inside of the rack. Very easy. Now we'll put on the top parts of the upright where the, where the bar will sit. These will be adjustable by pins that we'll put in in a few minutes. And also both, both parts of these where the bar is gonna hit have the UHMV plastic pads here on the on the two back areas. And the pin, the rollers, pardon me, the rollers are also UHMV coated so that uh, your bars never gonna come, come in contact with bare metal. And we'll put the levers on now. This, the big secret to these kind of racks is the ease of changing the height on them. And that's done by one of the 
oldest inventions in the world, the lever. The secret to these is to not tighten them down so much that they don't move easily. Right now we're just gonna do them finger tight. There, we just have to tighten them up. Then we just put it up to the, to the upright and work it like that. Get a couple of the pins. And you just work like that. Lift the lever, move the pin to wherever you want it to be, and drop it like that. Very easy to change the height. These are the uh, safety that I'm putting together. There is a, uh, a little joiner piece that goes in to the uh, to each end to this one to this end one to, uh, to onto the rack itself. And we'll tighten it up in a minute. What I'd recommend, if you're just using this for for a competition and you want to be able to remove this quickly, slide this in here and just leave it. Just leave it like that, because it'll work just fine. You could put the bolt through it, but it's easier to remove it for a competition if you leave the bolt off. We're gonna to talk to the manufacturer when we get them to put a, a screw knob, a hand, a hand screw knob in the top for the, uh, for the next edition. We forgot to look at that beforehand. We're putting the, uh, the, top, part, the top part of the safety onto the uh, part that slides in and out of the bottom. Okay. And we have the UHMV plastic on here also, so if your bar happens to, to land on there or you want to use it for, for doing rack pulls or something like that, it won't hurt your bar. And on the side here also we have an overhang bit that overhangs the overlaps with the upright so that there's no gap in there for you to possibly drop your bar down if you, if you don't make a bench press. We're going to finish it off here, Can repeat a couple of steps we've already done. And uh, that will be it. Okay, we noticed that uh, a couple of wing nuts were included. They fit on the bolts that hold the safeties in place. So optionally, you could put the bolt in there and put the safety on the, or put the uh, wing nut on the other end. So make it a little easier to, to add and remove the safeties. But we are gonna get the manufacturer to put a, a knob in the top, so it'll make it a, even easier to get it off. Well, we got the rack done. Probably took us close to three hours to, uh, to get it done. Uh, we were a bit too shy on the tools that we needed, but make sure you got all your good tools ready before you go, your sockets and your wrenches. Uh, I'm very impressed with the quality of the rack that I've seen. The, all the welds seem to be very high quality. Uh, I don't think you'll have any problem at all using this in competition. Love all the UHMV padding to protect your bar padding on the handles of the levers, UHMV rollers up and down. So I, all together, I think this is a, an excellent rack and uh, I'm sure you'll be very happy with it. Thanks for watching.